Welcome to Safety Dog EDU. Chris here, Safety Dog. So what happened? You just received the warning letter from MTO. Your heart sinks. And you don't know what to do. Why did they send it to you? And what can you do about it? Well, I can tell you they sent it to you because your CVR threshold exceeded 35%. This is a warning from MTO to say, hey, pay attention to your safety and to your record. We're here to help, but your record has escalated a little bit and we want to draw your attention to it. It is the first intervention. Often this is the very first intervention that MTO gives you and says, hey, pay attention. We want to wake you up. At 50%, if your CBR threshold exceeded 50%, you now go on to the list of audit potentials. Potentially, they could be coming to get an audit, to do a full facility audit. You know that that is a huge inconvenience to you. And in all likelihood, you will end up giving the government some money. So that is the third intervention. I said the warning letter was first, the audit because you breached 50% is third, what's the second? You may not have noticed, but you are likely getting increased inspections at the scale. As your CVOR threshold increases, they're going to pay more attention to you at the scale and get prepared to perform an audit. They need so many inspections of your drivers and vehicles. Uh, therefore, they're preparing ahead of time to do the audit. The next, if your CVR threshold exceeds 70%, you now automatically go conditional. If you were satisfactory on audited before this happening, now you will go conditional at 70%. And that's never a good thing. The insurance companies hate to see conditional. If there is a court action, it is awful for you to go to court and have to defend yourself with a conditional rating. Then at 85%, you will be interviewed. Once your CVR breaches 85%, they're going to want to talk to you. And if you are part of the 1% who go above 100% of your threshold, this is when the worst of the interventions happen. This is called a show cause hearing. You will be invited to St. Catharines to tell the panel, the deputy minister and associates. I've been to several of these. There are generally four people on the panel. You have to explain your actions and what action you're going to take in the future in order to make your CVR be reduced, the threshold be reduced and for you to continue to be a safe carrier on the highways. Sanctions that they can take, they can reduce your fleet size, they can seize plates, they can suspend your operating authority, and they can shut you down. Whatever actions they do take, they take place right across Canada. Your CVR will be affected dramatically. So be careful out there. If you need some help with your CVR, understanding it, reading it, get in touch with Safety Dog, 905-973-7056. I can help.